just like to share something with you that happened to me a couple years ago this month. I've posted about it on social media a few times, just writing stuff, so I just thought for whatever reason I might make a video. I've never made a video before, so y'all kind of bear with me. But something happened to me. It was on um, August 19th of 2018. I was I was working that day, and I was doing great. Everything was fine. Uh, I was getting ready to go to lunch, and um, I started getting dizzy. I sat down in a golf cart, <clears throat> trying to work, play it off, act like everything is all right. But I, but I knew I was in trouble. I knew something was going on. I've been dizzy before, but something different about this time. And I sat down in the golf cart. I leaned forward, and I, like I said, I knew I was in trouble, and. I, I said to myself, I said, forgive me, Jesus, forgive me, Jesus. And I started leaning back. And the next thing I know, I am just, I am outside the golf cart, and I'm looking at my body in the golf cart, and I can see everything and everybody around it. I watch my body as it falls back the rest of the way in the seat. And I'm just trying to figure out why is my body over there. It just didn't make any sense at the time. And this all happened just in this, just in the couple seconds and then as my body fell back all the way it was surrounded it just started it became surrounded by this white light and then instantly I was in the white light I was uh, like swept off into it and um, it was just amazing I instantly thought wow where has this been all my life it was just amazing peace love it was just perfect and I came to this, I call it a veil, but it was just like the light was so thick you couldn't see through it. Uh, the, the light had, it was like a fog, it had, um, it was thick, and it just, it was just amazing. It was so bright, but it didn't hurt your eyes, and on the other side of this veil, there were people there. I could, I could see their movement, I could see color flashes, and, <clears throat> but I could also, I could sense that they were, that they were there, and I could, I could, I could tell that, that they were there for me and that they loved me very much. And I was reminded of everything I had just come from, from work, all the stresses I had at work and the things I was worried about in my life. I was reminded of that. I didn't hear any actual words. It was just like a, somebody else's thoughts were put into my head. And I was reminded of everything that I had just come from come through and I was told that the only thing that matters in this life is what we do for the kingdom of God and I and then next I had <clears throat> what I call a life review but it was it was really just a, it was a comparison sort of of the amount of time that I had been here and of that amount of time how much of it was spent for the kingdom of God and I just remember, just remember thinking to myself, what a waste. Because at that moment I knew that God is real, and that Jesus is very much alive, and that the Bible is, is, is true. And I was just, I just thought, what a waste, because that was all right in front of me my whole life. And I would have told you I believed in it. But, uh, but obviously I just knew at that time that there, there was some sort of doubt that I, I was that I had back then and I just and I just kind of neglected it and um, then I'm then I'm just uh, swept back into my body and as I come to my coworkers are around me they're just kind of in a little panic telling me that I didn't I didn't have a pulse and I wasn't breathing. And I just remember thinking to myself, yeah, I, I know, but just let me go back because I just, I just wanted to go back. But they, uh, I tried to get up out of the golf cart and I couldn't walk very well. So they picked me, kind of helped me up and carried me into the office. And uh, I immediately called my wife. I just wanted to let her and my daughter know that I was okay. I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't know what was going on with me. I knew I had some issues, but it was serious. I didn't know if I was going to go out again or not. So I just wanted them to know in case something happened to me that I was all right. 
I didn't, I didn't really, I didn't tell them, you know, the whole story. It was just my way at the time to just let them know that I was okay. And then the, the paramedics came and they hooked me up to EKG and uh, were asking me questions and I started getting dizzy again. Uh, I go out again and I'm instantly back out of my body and I'm back in that same amazing place. And I'm, I'm standing, like in, there's somebody standing in front of me. I can see the silhouette and it's just, I'm just there for just a couple seconds. And then I am back in my body. I'm laying, the paramedics have me on the ground now and they are, one of the paramedics has like a rescue breather over my face and the other one's on top of me doing chest compressions. And I asked them what was going on and they told me that I had flatlined and I had gone into cardiac arrest. And I remember asking them, so did, do you mean I really died? And one of them uh, turned to me and said, why did you see a white light or something? And I, I instantly told him, no, I didn't because I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know I'd, I didn't know if I even wanted anybody to know what I just experienced at the time. And um, so they hauled me to, took me to the hospital and uh, let me go after a few hours and didn't find anything wrong with me, just told me to get with my family doctor. And I get back home and I get with my doctor and he uh, recommends that I have a tilt table test. So they, they give me a tilt table test. And during that test, my heart stopped for 37 seconds. And I was, I was back out of my body again. This time I was just standing, it was like in a short tunnel. There was a, a bright light down at the end and there was someone standing, standing in that light looking back at me. And I just, I stood there just, just looking back at them. It was just the same peace, peaceful, unconditional love feeling. It was, it was amazing. And, um, then I come, I come to and the nurses are working on me, getting me back and I look over to my left and the doctor is standing with another nurse and they're looking at the screen. They had me hooked up to all sorts of stuff and he was pointing at the screens and I remember him saying, from here to here, he was actually dead. From here to here. Point at whatever he points at on the screen and um, I just, um, then he comes over to me and he, and he tells me that that I'm going to have to have a pacemaker to install to make sure that my heart doesn't do that again. And uh, they tell me that my heart is perfectly fine. Uh, it just has some electrical issues and needs a little help from a pacemaker. So I've got one now. I'm doing great. And, um, but the thing that's, that's really kind of crazy is, is when I was out of my body, I was still me. I still knew what I know. My thoughts, everything was still there. I was just separate from it. I was looking at it. I was totally disconnected, but I was still, I was still me. And it just, it's just, it's just, I don't know how to tell you, but man, God is real. Jesus is so very much alive and he loves each and every one of us and it doesn't matter who you are or what you've done or how far away from him you think you've traveled. <laughs> if you're still breathing, it's not too late to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. All you have to do is just with your whole heart, just ask him into your heart. Ask him to forgive you of your sins and he will do just that. And I, I encourage you, everyone, I encourage you to get a Bible. If you don't already have one, get one and read it. Read some of it every day. The New Testament I recommend, of course, anywhere. Just read the Bible. You don't have to read a lot, just read a little bit every day and draw draw near to Him. And, the, and the, the closer you get to Him and the more you seek Him, the more He will reveal Himself to you. And the more He reveals Himself to you, the more you will feel His presence, His Spirit, and his peace in your life. It's just a, an amazing peace that you, you can't even imagine that you could, you could even have in a time like this with all the craziness going on in the world. But, um, that's about all I got for that. But I just, I just wanted to make a video just to tell everybody that.